Welcome back. This is Priscilla Batson, Spring Hill, Florida again, Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. And we're working on part two. Any old way we want to. And adding colors sometimes because our wet paint background is still wet, which is a really good thing at this point because otherwise we wouldn't be doing much. I do kind of want to use what I've got in my cups, and I had a round tip, there it is, a round tip Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula, which will allow me to use any and all of that paint if I so desire to cover that edge right there. And that does not bother me a bit. What else do I want to do? might want to use some gold, but whether I want to use all the paint on that spatula or not. What takes paint off spatula? Your finger. <laughs> it's a rather interesting <laughs> scenario. I don't have any idea. This will be the second painting today. I have no idea what it's supposed to be. But I don't care either. And since I use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my fluid acrylic paint mixes, it means that I can leave the pattern right as it is, not do a thing, and the paint will be thick, but it won't crack when it dries. And that is why I use it. And love it. And it works for me consistently. So I've got quite a bit of paint over there still in a shovel, and it, I'm considering whether I might want to um, drop some of it on the edge to come right down. And hope I don't mess it up. Get down, get funky. And I can actually take a basting brush or a straw or a spatula or a skewer. Skewers I happen to be a big fan of. And meld that. I think I'm going to let all of that come right down over the edge. The skewer is great at covering edges. I might still want to tip that some more. I have some beautiful cells in my shovel and I don't really want to waste them. I also don't want to use the pointed end of that skewer unless I'm being very cautious. I'm kind of missing some dark blue. Or black. Like that. Makes me want to look for the Prussian blue and see what I can do. Maybe adding some gold in there is not a bad idea because gold and Prussian blue will sell often together. And that's not really bothering me. Having my paint in the way is not helpful. I've got 11 minutes and time to figure out what I want to do.
Because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link. I'm sorry, I'm endlessly amused by the fact that I'm an author. <laughs> All thanks goes to Jackie. Jackie the editor. Without Jackie, it never would have happened. I am just not that organized. Well, I was pretty organized to start the whole process, so... I guess I may not be giving myself enough credit. I like that. But I think I want more, especially since the white makes it makes the purple sell, and the gold makes it look gorgeous. Let's put a little more gold in there. I think I will be able to, whoops, right on the tiles. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, I think I will be able to finish uh, my edges fairly well, better than I expected to. Seeing as I have enough paint down over them in lots of places. I do want to just keep looking at what I've got in here and use the colors that I see to finish. And I'm going to hit those drips I see too. What else? I've got some paint shovels hanging around with some paint in them, and I don't know what to do with that. I really kind of want... I wanted... Ooh, that's dripping right on me. I wanted to tip some more, and then I didn't do it. So I'm just going to take that right there out of my shovel. Thank goodness it's not a hotter day, I'll tell you what. going to use everything that I've got in my shovel, shovels, to cover that edge right there because it's its own little entity. It doesn't need to be exactly what's above it at all. Just covering them and creating a new composition on the edges is what's going on. The question is, do I want a torch? And the answer is definitely. If I don't torch, I could wind up with all kinds of bubbles. I'm a little confused about that right there. Nothing a little pink won't cure. I'm feeling pretty lucky that things have stayed as wet as they have. I could come back in and dot a few things tomorrow. Happily. Alright, let's give her... Really? <laughs> I almost pulled a spatula into my painting. You know what? I'm just not feeling like heating up the surface and destroying my last opportunity to do stuff. So until I want to glop up the surface, I guess I'm just going to hold this torch in my other hand looking like a fool. Thank goodness you can't see me. Um, I'm loving these little purple lines. But I'm thinking that's a lot of paint. Never mind. <laughs> Nothing a little more paint won't cure. I'm loving that white thick paint. I really, really am. Not so sure about that. I'll call it a rose, because if I call it a brain, I'll never unsee it. I like a good waggle. And I like a few dots. And I like mixing my colors. It's probably not my best idea to tip now, even though I'm still very inclined. It's very tempting. I think I better behave myself and not do it. Where's my purple? Because we're almost, well, we're not really almost done, but we're, okay. I know you're here. 
show yourself. There you are. Let's just take a minute to see what I've got and what I want to add to it. If anything, not that it probably needs much. I'm sure there's plenty going on here. I want to steal some paint. The gold is getting kind of thin because of the hotter weather. So it helps to add something else to it. So that's not a bad start, and it might not be a bad finish. I think a clean skewer might be helpful. I'm not sure I like that. That's okay figure something out. To make it better. I really don't like that at all. I wonder what I can do about that. I can wipe off my spatula even though I was kind of planning on using that paint to cover an edge. Okay, let's see. Send that right over here. And I'll just add some white paint back in. Use the other paint down below. Wipe it off again. Whereas my white paint, I did put the top back on, conveniently enough. Wipe it off one more time, so I don't have any other colors in there. Let it fall right down over the edge. Yeah, I wasn't fond of that. Oh, got some colors in there anyway. Maybe a little more white, which I keep putting away for some reason. Optimism. Yeah, I'm better without that there. And now, whoopsie, I'm going to have a little glop. I might have a couple white spaces to fill in on my edges tomorrow, or not, but in the meantime, it's time to throw that rag in the bucket. See what will happen if I... Well, we got some nice little cells. We've got some nice patterns too. I think I see what I want to do over here. I don't know, I have any idea why that makes it better. My muse speaks and I jump. I don't think a few spirals is going to hurt anything. I like them. <laughs> I'm sorry for the people who don't. Because you're watching the wrong channel. <laughs> you don't like spirals. Chances are I will never get bored with them.
I want some pink up there, so excuse me, some purple. I got a minute left, and then my timer will go off. And I will tell you what I always tell you, which is my artwork is for sale. My book is available in soft cover as well as an ebook. And if you buy the soft cover, you can have the ebook for like $2.99, which is pretty cool. I love seeing the patterns get picked up on the on the skewer and then uh, and then I get to drag them. put them down other places. And it's different, but I like it. And if I really wanted to do something to it after it dries, it might be a while drying too because of all that white paint, I'll tell you what. All right, what else do I need to tell you guys? I'll tell you anything you want to know now. <laughs> and all kinds of things you don't. Uh, I have uh, PayPal and Patreon for anybody who wants to contribute to the studio. It will be included in a contest most months. And there's seven paintings in uh, for the drawing for April 8th coming up, 14 by 14 inches. I give classes at my studio. I do sell my artwork, inquire through YouTube, and I'll give you an email address. Um, I really need your thumbs up. It helps the placement of my videos on YouTube. And the longer you watch my videos, the better off it is for me. So I really appreciate you guys doing me that favor, watching as long as you can. Yes, I really like that orange. And I really want more Orbit, Muvit, Muvit? New word. More Muvit. <laughs> I want more Muvit. What could Muvit be? I don't want to know. All right, so I needed that orange in there. I really did. And uh, I'm almost gone. So Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook albums at the bottom of the description under show more underneath the video, along with the paint pouring recipe underneath the video. If you guys have questions, just ask me. If you need the recipe, I'll hook uh, for the gold mica powder um, gold. Just ask me, and I will uh, hook you up with a video that I made that's evidently hard to find. So I'd rather help you than not. And um, Teespring clothing is mine under the video also. There are 540 videos on the playlist in the end screens at the last 20 seconds of this video. So if you like what I do, you'll never be bored. Well, maybe not. I know, I know some people have watched quite a few of it. Quite a few videos. They've binge watched. They've told me they've watched them all. That's a lot of watching. I like that. That's good. That's very good. I might have to do it again. I like it very much. I gotta be careful where I do do stuff because once I've got it, some of some of it's hard to get rid of. And uh, just because I repaired this where I wanted it to be fixed doesn't mean I can do it every time. I kind of want to torch again, but I think I'm done. And I love you guys. Come again, and thanks for all the contributions that I kept me painting. You're probably gone. Hard to tell. I didn't reset my timer. Come again. I love you. Bye for now. Priscilla. Ah, uh, do I need to zoom out? There you go. It's nice you're still here, and I'll see you soon. Priscilla out. Bye for now.